Some this is what we know. Taken our somebody support? abducted our daughter. Yes, uh, but most someone abducted our daughter. Yes, but most people abduct this for is a reason. The, this is the fact. I know, but most people abduct for a reason, whether it's money or for a sex trade or something. There's usually a reason. Right. So I'm just or, wondering. Or for or, 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 or for personal sexual gratification. Oh, God forbid. Or just to kill some little kid. God forbid. Yeah, I think they would have found her by now if that was the case. I do. That means do. she's far away from here. It's that means possible. she's far away from here. It's definitely possible. Um, oh, that's probable, not possible. Why do you think Candace's mom took off right after she went missing? Was that just coincidence, or? Gosh damn! This is the thousandth and ten thousandth time I've asked some discourse. Eh? Oh, you've asked her that too? I've only answered this question. This will be my 1,199 uh, oh. time I've answered this question, okay? Just so you know. I'm sorry. Because she wanted to avoid all these. No, listen. I'm not trying to be mean. It's okay. okay but you have to understand. I get it. I'm she good. was smart enough to fuck out of here to avoid all these stupid questions. That's why. She went through this shit with her first child. When and Rose that, Marie Bly come up with her son. We, she and, went through all this shit with her. She seen this shit coming. She knew what was going to happen. That's why she left. Because she knew she seen all this shit coming. Probably. But she but should have stuck it out. I mean, don't. But didn't Candace need her? I mean, that's her mom. Yeah. Right. But her mom had never been her for her before. And nothing has changed now. Do you think it's possible that her mom yeah. had something to do with the abduction? And that's just a question. No. That's not an explanation. No. No, because I would kill the bitch. And I, I would kill any bitch for doing Taking my daughter. Anybody. If I find out who took my daughter, I will kill them. I don't blame I promise you. you. I can and understand. If I, I thought that, I'd kill him too. would already be dead. I'm not a killer, but when it comes to my daughter, I will become a killer. I understand. I promise you. The problem with that is that if you do find out who did this and then you kill them, there's no problem with me. Anyway. I don't give a damn. Not when it comes to my daughter. You don't know. When I, I find out who took my daughter, I will be probably going to prison and I don't care. That's fine. I've never been that way. I've never wanted to hurt one of you in my life. But when you fuck with my daughter, that's a whole different fucking story. I get it. Somebody's gonna fucking die. I've never wanted to kill or hurt anybody in my entire life until now. You have to understand that. And if you think, if you think for one minute that, I, that my mother-in-law has something to do with it, she wouldn't even come back here. I, I would kill that bitch. I would kill anybody. Man, never woman, man, I don't give a damn. Over my daughter, you fucking rise. Over my mother And she's here, and, I, and she's not dead, so what does that tell you? Do you think Rose was abducted? A dumb bitch. Who? She dumb bitch. Who, what? Rose. You tell her about sister now. Yes. I'm, a, I'm just please, asking. Please let me fucking fall. I'm not accusing anyone. I'm asking. Her for I can't hear because this dumb bitch keeps opening her fucking mouth. What'd you say? Really? Man, please shut the fuck up, man. Do you think it's possible that What'd Summer's... What'd you say? Do you think that Summer's disappearance had to do with Rose at all, even though it was so many years different? Uh, you know what? We we don't know that. No. We have no idea. Because we don't know what happened to Rose. Therefore, and we don't know what happened to Summer. So there's no way of telling on that one. We don't know. 
I, that's, There's no I way know. to tell. And they never got any answers about Rose? No, not, not one clue, nothing. The only thing that she, we know about her is she, she was supposed to go to a bar to meet some people and her car was parked at a gas station, yeah. right? As far as I know. She I mean, was supposed to meet my cousin on a bar and she never ended up there. Yeah, her car never ended up there. They found her car at a gas station park. That's all we know. And that's, that's the last time anybody, nobody's seen her. We don't know. There's no way to tell them. And that's what makes me lose hope about Summer, that we'll never see her. Yeah. Statistics want... show 99% uh, of all the kids abducted get found. I don't believe that bullshit. No, not 99%, no. See, can't, all right. So, no, Rose I put her, I put her, I put, I, I put them, I put, I put those statistics on Don Wells, on my Facebook, on Don Wells. I just don't believe in statistics. It don't make sense. 99% of all children abducted get found? I don't think no, so. Why is there fucking over... Why is there 300 missing kids in Eastern Tennessee? There's, and they're starting to say 99% of them get found? Something ain't right with that. I call bullshit on that. But it's on my Facebook. Don Wells on my Facebook. But I don't believe it. I strongly disagree. Why is there 300 missing kids in this area right now and they haven't been found? Something ain't right. Something is not right. Yeah, Tennessee has a lot. Tennessee and Ohio and Iowa have yeah. actually have a lot. And the reason I think that is, is because this is easy pickings. In other words, yeah, you can come here from out of some big city or whatever high crime rate but she can come out here and, and pick up kids i seen a little girl the other day about two months ago she's about five years old just standing on the freaking on the street i drove by her i was just shaking my head like what the freak you know and it's just driving me crazy so when i come back out on the dead end she's still standing there i'm like oh hell no so I pull in the driveway and I asked that little girl, I said, where is your parents? She says, Papa's in the house, blah, 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 wherever. So I go and I knock on the door and he's like, oh, what, what? I don't know what he's saying. I knock on the door again and I just hear some mumbling. So I just opened the door and I said, you know this little girl's out here on the freaking road standing out here, five-year-old little girl? He's like, blah, blah, blah. And I couldn't understand what he was saying. I'm like, man, whatever. And I slammed the door. And I went and got in my truck. And I, told her, I waved at the little girl. I said, see you later. You know, and I got in my truck and I left. So the next thing I freaking hear is this fucking little girl's mother fucking gets on fucking uh, YouTube or Facebook or whatever says I tried to coerce that little girl into my truck. That's the thanks I get. We're trying to uh, make sure that little girl was safe. The fucking wow. little girl's fucking bitch mother fucking spread the word that I was trying to coerce that little girl into my truck or some bullshit. That's the things I get. Wow. Yeah. That's what I, yeah, fucking bullshit. I'm so, oh my gosh. No, I almost see. went back up there. Let me ask you a question, because this is something I've wanted to ask you for a long time. When you, in the okay, past, fine. when you were, you had posted on Facebook, um, a post about it, that, it was a very beautiful post, that you're going to see Summer again one day, and that you know God is taking care of her, and she's in heaven, and so on and so forth. And I just always wanted to yeah. ask you, why why think she's dead instead of having a hope she's alive? Well, like I was saying before, okay, the human brain goes 